Thanks for tuning in to the Spiritual Spotlight Podcast. My name is Stephen Lewis, and in five minutes or less, I plan on encouraging and uplifting you with Bible verses, my personal writings, and more to give you a spiritual boost to your day. So get ready, because the spotlight is being turned on. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Spiritual Spotlight. I truly hope you'll be blessed with what I share with you today. If this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if it's not, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Truly appreciate you folks. I see you folks popping up online, showing that different people are listening all around the world. And I just want to say thank you to all of you. You mean the world to me. It means a lot. So in this episode, I'm going to be talking about the Bible and the importance of it. And so first of all, I want to start off by saying my question for you today is, how is your Bible reading going? It's time, folks, no matter what you answered, it's time to dust those Bibles off and get in the journey through the most powerful book in the world. Amen? And I found this statement online on AnswersInGenesis.org, and it's really neat. It opens it up like a book, like a storyline, like a movie cast. The Bible is a unique volume. It is composed of 66 books by 40 different writers over 1,500 years. But what makes it unique is that it has one consistent storyline running all the way through, and it has just one ultimate author, God. The story is about God's plan to rescue men and women from the devastating results of the fall. And of course, the fall was Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden. A plan that was conceived in eternity, revealed through the prophets, and carried out by the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Yes. What an amazing adventure startup line, huh? You know, we're truly blessed to be able to own a Bible and grow closer to our Heavenly Father. You know, more questions for you today. How can I, Steve Lewis, help you get in the Bible? Do you need some advice on translations? Well, guess what, folks? I created a podcast series to help get people into the Bible. And my pod, this is my other podcast show. Most of you, some of you have heard of it and probably are subscribed to it. Uh, my other podcast show is called Relevance for Today, which can be found also on any podcast app. And I have a couple different series in there that I want to share with you today. So the first series is episodes 251 through 253 on Bible translations. And it basically breaks down what are the different Bible translations out there and which one might be right for you. The second series that will help is episodes 255 through 257, titled Bible Study Tips, Tricks, and Tools. And this one I developed to help you get more out of the Bible study time And I'm currently wrapping up the seven-part series, episodes 258 through 264, titled Bible Verses Worth Remembering. And that's a series that gives you some great starter verses to remember and to take note of. And you've heard of some of these verses before. And uh, But basically, I go through seven-part series, take my time, read a verse, talk about it for a few minutes, and just go from there. But it's really the goal is to help you get into the Word because we need to learn how to get into the Word for ourselves to help draw closer to God. Make sense? And of course, just like I just said, once again, please keep in mind, my goal is always to encourage you to draw closer to the Lord for your own personal relationship. I truly hope you will take the time to go over and subscribe and check out these informational shows. Awesome. It's all about just helping you folks. And if you know of anybody else struggling with trying to find a Bible translation, do me a favor, study tips the same way. Please go ahead and share that with them. Awesome. Hey, with that being said, let's go ahead and pray. So Heavenly Father, I just thank you so much for another opportunity to share with the amazing, wonderful brothers and sisters in Christ all around the world. And if they're not believers, that they'll come to know you as well, and they're wonderful people as well. So I thank you for all of them listening. Please watch over them, protect them, and keep them safe. I thank you so much for them, Lord. May the gifts you've given me be poured out on all of them so that they will grow too, and then their gifts will pour out on others. And I thank you for all these things. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hey, folks, thanks for tuning in to another episode. And listen up. Please do me a favor. Share with friends and a family and even a stranger. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, please leave me a comment or two or a rating at Apple Podcasts, Spotify as well. 
And make sure you get over to Relevance for Today podcast show and subscribe there as well and check those episodes out to help you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, I love and appreciate you all. Take care of yourselves. Peace.